Today I'm going to show you how you can create your own Instagram DM bot by which you can send direct messages to your targeted audience. I will create this bot using Python programming and you can use this bot for various purposes like promoting your Insta account, your business, your website and even your YouTube channel or you can also use for broadcasting a message to your followers. So let's get started. So now I'm inside my VS code. I'll create a new file, select the language Python and I'll save this file on my desktop with the name InstaDMBot and save. Now I'll open the terminal. I'll go to desktop and here we will be installing the package that we are going to use which is named as InstaBot. This package contains different functions by which you can perform different automation operations. So now we will install this. To install it, we'll type the command pip install instabot. So since I have already installed it, it says requirement already satisfied. Now I'll come here. And now I will have to import the class which contains all the operations that we are going to perform. Import bot bot is the class now in order to use the operations inside this class we will have to create an object of this class equal to bot that's it we just created the object of this class you can see there are different settings in this and we'll come back to it later so we completed creating the object of the class so now in order to use your instagram first you will have to log in inside your account correct so to login I will do my bot period there is a method called login and I will have to pass the username and password to this function I'll say username equal to coding 101 with Steve and then I'll put the password password is equal to for now I'm just writing 12345678 that's not my password I'm just writing this to show it to you so by this we will be logged in into our account so now method one now here i have come up with two different methods by which i will be sending direct messages to my targeted audience so the first method over here is sending direct messages to the followers of the targeted user your targeted user is the one having similar content like me and the followers of that user will become my targeted audience since they are following your targeted user there is a high chance that they might be interested in your content also and they might follow you back right so they are your targeted audience so how to get the followers of the user in order to do that i will write my bot period there is a function named get user followers and to this function we will have to pass the username that is the targeted user let me go to my Instagram and select one targeted user and I'll just select this user Python app projects I'll copy the username come back to the code and I'll paste over here so this function will return to me a list of users in the form of user IDs and these users are the followers of my targeted user so this list will have all my targeted audience now next step is to send them a message one by one since I want to send message to each user inside the list, I will have to loop through the list. To do that, I will use for loop. I'll do for each follower in followers ID. Now what I'll do is before sending a message, I will follow them because that gives a good impression about you. It will look good when you follow them and then message rather than just going and message them. So to follow each user, I will type my bot there is a function named follow and to this I will pass this each follower that is the user ID and just by this I will follow them now I also want to control the number of people to whom I want to send the message say for example I want to send a message to only 20 people rather than all the followers so I will be using the index of the iteration to do that I will use the built-in function called enumerate with this, I will get the index of each iteration. 
I will store it in variable count. I'll say if count is greater than 100, break. After sending message to 100 people, this loop will break. Now after following, I will send message. To send a message, I'll type my bot period send underscore message. This is the function by which we can send message to the user. I have already typed a message. I'll just copy that and paste it over here. Let me just make it proper. And if you see inside this message, I'm going to put the username of each user so that it will look like I have actually typed it because I am using the name of the user. Also, I have put a sleep of five seconds in between following and sending a message. Just for your information, username has a different value and user ID has a different value. So each follower contains the user ID, but we require username. So there is a function which we can use to get the username. And that function is get username from user ID. So we will get the username of this particular ID. So the message is stored inside this message text variable. And I will pass this message text to the send message function. And the second parameter is the list of user ID. I can also do like this. I'll copy this and paste it here. So the username will be stored into this username variable. And I'll pass this username variable to the message text. And you can also pass the username instead of the user ID to the send message function. It's up to you. By this, we will be able to send the message to all our targeted audience. And after this, I can say sleep for 20 seconds. For now, I'll just change the count to 10 instead of 100. Or I can just make this dynamic by taking an input and passing it. So I will say user underscore name input enter the targeted username and total dms input enter the number of dms i'll convert this input into string and i'll convert this input into integer and i'll put a try except block if i give any wrong inputs it will just go inside this exception and it will print invalid input so now I can pass this username to the get user followers function and I can pass this total DMs over here. So coders, by this we completed the first method. Now I'll show you what is the second method. Method 2 is DM the likers of the user that is the engaging people. Now these are the people who are liking the post of your targeted user. So they are not only just followers, but they are also people who engage. There is a great chance that these people are going to follow you and not only follow you, but also engage with your content. I'll just write the variable name liker IDs and I will be using a function called get user likers. And this function will take the username or the user ID. So this function will return to me a list of users in the form of user IDs. And these are the users who have liked any media content of that targeted user. And rest all will be same as we did in method one. I'll just copy everything from there and paste it here. Only little changes just to replace the variable names. Instead of each follower will be each liker. And by this, we also completed method two. And I personally feel that method two is more better than method one because it gives you engaging people. You are sending messages to people who are likely to not only follow, but also engage with your content. Now we will run this code and see. But note this library Instabot, it has some limitations. You cannot just continuously run this again and again. It will be better that you run once or twice in a day. That's it. Else they will first send you a warning 
saying that you are using some services to help you get likes and followers and after that if you do it again they will block you from liking following or commenting anyone so please note that you can run both the methods at once but make sure that you put a sleep of one hour or maybe three or four hours but i will just execute both the methods separately so now let's run this code i'll comment this part and i will also put a logout function this is an optional function i'll also print over here the follower ids just to show that to you and over here we'll print the number finally you can change some settings for your bot for example max followers to follow is equal to 500 it says that users that are having more than 500 followers ignore them by default this value is something around 2000 so i just changed it to 500 and i can say max follow per day by default this value is 350 you can get the by default values from the document which i will be putting inside the description box and yes how can i forget i need to change this password to my original password i'll just do that and now we will run our bot with method one enter and now it's asking me to enter the targeted username i have copied that username i'll paste it here python app projects the next input is enter the number of dms for now i'll just say 10 enter okay now it is logging inside my instagram it logged in successfully and now it will be following and sending messages to each users you can see over here it just printed the list of all the users it shows also the number one follow dm number one follow dm number two it will keep going on till it reaches the 10th user i'll come back inside my instagram and i'll come here and see the messages there you go you see it has already sent three messages and the fourth one is on its way the message is getting sent properly oh and here came the fourth one now as you saw it is sending the messages now let's go on to our second method and try to run that method by the way for this method i'm going to use my another account and i have also changed the message text now i will run this code here i will have to set a targeted username i have again already copied the targeted user and i will enter the number again say 10 enter now the messages will be sent automatically one by one by that time i'll just go and grab some coffee so coders my code is executed successfully and i also finished having my coffee now i will go and check my instagram and see whether it has sent the messages or no i go in the messages section and bingo all the messages have been sent and you notice inside the message we have sent the username isn't that cool so congratulations coders by this now you can create your own instagram dm bot and promote your business or your account by sending messages automatically if you learned something from this video then please do not forget to subscribe to my channel in order to be notified about my latest videos thank you so much for watching see you in my next video